What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are a Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. My name is Mark. My name is Rob. I'm Danny. And I'm Josh. Uh, gentlemen, first on the agenda, shots. Josh. Cheers. How you doing out there, uh, Rob? I heard Mark. there's a hurricane coming for you? No. No. Nothing coming no? for me. It's a pure death. <laughs> Just pure death. Uh, in the form of heat. Oh, we man. are melting out here. Yeah, but you've been you've been good. Yeah, I mean, except for the uh, it being eighty five degrees at five in the morning. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Getting out of That's work, you're just like, I just got to cool off in some cool air, and you just come out and you're still sweating balls. It's <laughs> gross. Yeah. Lately, it's actually been cooler inside my work building than outside. I'm like, okay, yeah, right. <laughs> The one Which fucking is company weird for a warehouse. Hey, glad they <laughs> keep the weird. AC on. Like, yeah, thanks. for sure. Yeah, Josh, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right, man. Doing all right. Um, my wife and I had a weekend to ourselves for the first time in like 12 years. Oh. It was nice for my kids to go see my dad for the weekend. So, so peace and quiet. But she still had to work on Saturday, so it was like we didn't really do much. <laughs> it didn't really do anything. Yeah. Danny's Danny, moving. how are you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm good, man. Um, you know, just working on stuff. Uh, Rob and I uh, been putting some stuff together. Met up with Josh this last uh, Friday, so we were we were working on some stuff. So, been busy doing that. I will say it has me uh, excited what you guys are working on. I took I was listening to it today, and I was like, "Ooh, okay, I see where we're going here." Yeah. So yeah. it's always cool to. Uh, it's always cool to see the the skeleton of a project before it start before we actually start building upon it and what it what it'll eventually become. I'm excited for it. So yeah. Oh, uh, we did something interesting today, actually. What's that? Oh, uh, we've been working on a song this week and conflicting with the sounds and the tone and the attitude of what the song was progressing. We basically just took it in two separate songs, and so we're gonna yes. build from. And, uh, that's what I that's what I was listening to Danny work on today when I walked in. Oh yeah, just, yeah. It's that's the one. Like, I'm excited so that. Good. I don't I don't know if we make it fast or heavy or if we just go slower. So yeah, I think we split that bitch right down the spine, pull the meat off, and threw that in the <laughs> freezer. And we'll work on that later. But let's get this skeleton going. And, oh, hell yeah, man! Uh, really that's, quick, so that's I just want to. That's what we've been doing. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to go ahead and give a quick thank you to everybody on TikTok. Our TikTok has been very active lately. Uh, TikTok has, you guys have been killing it with like just spreading our music and, our, and the videos and the word about our music. And we appreciate it. I see all the extra followers and it's awesome. And I can see the numbers jump in like our Spotify plays like by the day, which is really cool to see. So, oh, yeah. and with that being said, Rob... What are we doing today? Today, we are answering some fan questions. Right on, right on. Right on. Uh, we'll, we'll give out a couple of shout outs. Uh, hopefully, uh, this will generate more people asking us questions and, and more content for you guys to enjoy. So, Let's hopefully, go. you guys uh, like this. Should I not have the top of my head cut off, or is it just because I'm too tall? If you want to live, keep it on. Like, I'll just do the rest of the podcast like this, sitting up. If you want to live, keep it on. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. He dies. <laughs> what, what's number one on the list there, buddy? Okay, number one on the list. Jenny Malone from Saskatoon asks, how did you come up with the band name? That is all you, sir. Oh, all me, all me. Um, no, well, I mean, I think the origins of it do, you know. So tell us, tell us where you, where you, uh, where you, well, where you I came was up watching with. a movie, and the line was said, uh, "Last days of war," and um, when Pretty he said the line, uh, the movie was Pacific Rim. There's a line uh, Idris Elba, Charlie Day, Charlie Hunnam, Ron Perlman. Good movie. Second one. Uh, but the first one, um, he says this line, uh, last days of war. And I was like, 
that's it. That's <laughs> like if if I'm other in another project, that's gonna be the fucking band name. Yeah. And so um, when you guys were jamming, I was like, hey, do you guys have a name for this or what are you thinking? Oh, I don't know, man. It'll come to us in time. And I'm like, save it. I already He's like, well, Daddy. here's the time. <laughs> Danny, do you remember the back and forths that we were having about like trying to name the band, the project before Rob joined? Man, it is. I'm going to tell you right now, naming a project is like so hard. <laughs> one of the worst things to do. It's such a pain in the ass because everybody's got different ideas and you want to find something that works well, you know, and I think we kind of lucked out that Rob had that one, that idea, because when he said it, it I don't think anybody was like, I think it was just, yeah, that's it, you know? Yeah, and I know one of the other hardest things about naming your band is uh, you'll be like, yes, this is one, this is the one, that is it. Everybody agree? Yeah, cool, let's go. And then you Google it, and you find out that there's already a band with that name somewhere in, like, you know, the middle of yeah. nowhere. So you're like, and okay, then, and then there's, <laughs> sort of there's thing, sometimes yeah. you're like, yeah, but that band hasn't done anything for like 15 years, and they just had a Facebook account. Yeah. It's <laughs> like they've fallen <laughs> off. It's like... Do you run into that those types of things and then sometimes you find a band name that you really like and then you're like ah we can't we can't use it it's like ah. yeah i do i do remember once we did finalize the name of the band i instantly went to all of the social media platforms and make sure that we grabbed the last days of war for all of them i was like, <laughs> I was like yeah so yeah yeah, but yeah. Uh, Next question. i think we had to do it twice right Yes. Okay. Oh, because yeah. You're right. There was a there was a debate. Do we keep the the right? Do yeah. We keep yeah. The the. And I remember we're like, we'll go without the the. And I printed out like a hundred stickers. And I was like, hey guys, check out this box of stickers. And Rob's like, we're keeeping the the. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> but you can buy those stickers now in our shop down below at the link. It's true. The buzz, the buzz in those stickers. <laughs> no, it's not. We use those for TP during the COVID scare. So, uh, oh, geez. We're good. I don't know how wiping your ass with the stickers is going to work down there, buddy. <laughs> that sounds horrible. I, I don't know, man. You ever wipe with the sticker? And make sure it's clean. Sticky side up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It holds it to your hand so you don't lose it and lose the towel oh, and you must wipe your hand with the rest. You know what I'm saying? You went from stickers to female pads, man. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next question. Next question. Next, next, question. next, question. Uh, next question comes from X. Uh, Burrito Bandito for Life says, <laughs> what is your favorite song to perform and Why? Oh, that's a good question. Is it? You want me to take that one? Yeah, okay. go ahead and start this one. Um, so for me, I mean, obviously, we've only played two shows as of this recording. You have. So, ah. well, <laughs> yeah, we we played we played arenas already, buddy. We played, Come on yeah. now. keep up. But um, I would say for me, it's Reach. Obviously, there's a lot of you know personal connection with that song for me and uh i don't know man there's just something about that break it's not even a necessarily a part that i specifically seeing it's that breakdown it's that breakdown that you guys go into Ooh, on stage the, the feeling moment. the feeling of that whole breakdown hitting what as soon as it hits dude it's i can't explain that's a it's a drug that this you know what i mean i it's um, it's, no, it's, it's amazing. You are not sharing drugs with us. What are you doing? Like, you can <laughs> share this with us. Remember when they made it seem like everybody was just going to be giving you free drugs when you grow up, when you grow up? It's like, bro, that shit is expensive. Nobody's sharing their drugs. Like, stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not what drug free meant. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's not free. <laughs> but yeah, no, for me it would be reach, man. It's, and it's and it's just it's it's the feeling that I get every time that drop hits on stage or when we're rehearsing it in a room it's just it's a, it's amazing i love that Dan. for me i would say i would say it's home sweet hell because I, that song i just it's it's a monster you know what i'm saying the whole intro the whole thing i think it's kind of just one of those songs that just from beginning to end and all the way through it's just full throttle you know it's just going at you so i think for me um 
we've we've done it we have a set built out where that's that's the first song we play and then we have another set where i think uh symphony of chaos is the first song we play and i like both of them but i feel like uh home sweet hell kind of kind of does it you know yeah and i've been told by multiple people that see that saw us live that home sweet hell as awesome as it is like the recording that we have that it's even better live he, they said that we I can crush the shit out of it live. So I think that that's oh, yeah. a cool compliment. That's you know, because Josh for? opens up his hi hats. There we go with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to play another what? show what already just to get that over with. Dude, just it's get not, that it's done. Not what about you, Josh? Uh, I'm going to go with Remained Untamed, probably. Just to nice. switch it up. Uh, it's not even the energy behind that song because it is not a fast song. It is awesome to play live, but the couple times we've played it, just the crowd really gets into the song. So the meaning behind the song and the fact that they feel like they're one with the band during the song is really cool to see. And the fact that I get to actually be up on stage and play that is cool to me. I have fun playing that. If I can see through the goddamn mess. <laughs> Still unreal to me that the the very first show we had, people were already singing along to that song in the crowd. That was a really cool feeling. And there's a there's video of that show where you see it in my reaction, like halfway through the song, realizing that people were singing the chorus with me. I'm like, oh shit, like that's fucking cool. <laughs> I was like, wasn't expecting that on our first show, but it, it was awesome. It shows that the way we decided to release songs for a while before we played our first show really really helped you know so uh rob um let's see um i i would say probably control knew it yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's go to control well i mean you know danny danny took uh home sweet hell which is a great one um uh, don't get me wrong. Breaking the mold is good. Uh, but it needs more hi-hats? We're not talking about it again. We're not talking about it again. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it, I, I like control because it, it kind of like, hey, I'll go balls out real quick, and then, Mark, you take the floor. Okay, yeah. now I can get a drink, and I can breathe, and okay, cool. Uh, I also feel that's one of the songs that's like the most pressure of like, we got to nail this intro perfectly because <laughs> it's like a vocal cue with yeah. you so well yeah and then like i don't have very long with in ears and the sweat and it's just like Bloop. oh shit okay let's keep these in real quick just so i could hear this maybe if the world was perfect okay cool then we're oh, gonna... for free dude just gonna drop it like that on them? <laughs> uh you know yeah. it's just uh it is what it is you know yeah, man. Uh, That's what are we thinking? Next uh, question. Was it the was it the was it the first time or the second time around where you didn't have the the click cue? You're like, uh, did it start? <laughs> You're like, I don't hear anything. That was the first pretty... time. Yeah. yeah. I well, I know one time he walked up. To, you walked up to me, and I was kind of like doing the click. I was trying to like tell you, like, there it is. You know, I don't know how much I helped you, but. Um, it's kind of hard when it's like, oh shit, it's coming, and you know. Well, that yeah, was when I realized with Home Sweet Hell, right? Yeah, because when I realized you didn't have the click in your queue, I remember I picked up the mic. I was like, I expect you to understand, and then like you came yeah. in right after me. You're like, okay, cool. <laughs> so, we had each other there. That was cool. Ooh, thank God. Next question, Rob. Thank you, Ben Burrito Bandito for life. Uh, now I don't know if this is Jeff Four Eyes or. Jeff Foreese. Um <laughs> but he says, uh, where did it go? He says, how do you deal with creative differences within the band? You um, don't. Well, it's real simple. We used to be a six piece. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we're a five. Um, um, and we're always looking for new members. Uh, and if it just doesn't work out, uh, we're a five piece. <laughs> How set are you on that band name, Rob? <laughs> uh, now we're a four piece. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah, you do. Uh, <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> 
no. Um, no, typically, uh, I don't. I don't think we really have too many disagreements. I think we kind of make sure that when you know we first walk in the door, like, hey, here's some ground rules we gotta kind of agree on, and we're not gonna talk about, and we're not gonna dive into this. But if it, if it comes up, I want to make sure that we're kind of along the same pages because if. God forbid the U.S. starts falling apart and turning against each other. I kind of want to have the guys in my band have my back. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Yeah. Um, so I just, for me, um, as far as creative differences, um, I, I don't know if Danny will agree with this or not, but typically if I don't agree with something, um, we just let it ride the whole way. And yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. And then when it goes to, go to uh, production, uh, just delete the part that Rob likes and just say, yeah, that's what the song is. Uh, oh, okay. What happened to that part? Like, oh, we just got rid of it. <laughs> we? We? Yeah. I think the producer said it was just, no, yeah, it wasn't working. <laughs> you know, I, I do no like comment. that. I, 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 I do like that when... Uh, I like that when it comes to like, I wouldn't say this sort of call it like a disagreement, but when we're just not really sure about something or if we're hearing two different things, um, we'll usually, okay, well, let's do both versions. And then as a group, how do we feel about this? And we usually, it usually turns into like a majority vote. And uh, we've, you know, I think we're all mature enough and, you know, deep enough into our musical careers to understand that, you know, Constructive criticism is fine, and so long as you're, no. so, so long, so, and, you know, and so long as you're, so long as your your goal is literally for the be the betterment of the song, let's go. You know, hmm. that's what I that's what I've learned. I've learned not to have such a big ego about things. I've learned to, uh, all right, well, if you don't like it, I don't mind that you say you don't like it if you have something else brought to the table in place of it. Because otherwise, okay, well, then where do we go from there? <laughs> yeah. That part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel yeah. like, I feel like uh, we always, the door is kind of always, for the most part, it's open to, like, try ideas, you know? And I feel like we always, for the most part, I think we do our best at trying to do that. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, there's been things that, that I like that, that stuck and... Um, other people didn't like and you know at some point i just there was things sometimes i gotta let go of some things you know and that's a part of it and then on top of that too it's about communicating and talking and i feel like i feel like we all do a pretty good job of that and i don't really see anybody getting like butt hurt you know what i'm saying and like yeah. i feel like we i feel like we're uh we're at a point now where we could kind of approach each other with uh you know bigger things you know, and, and I feel like nobody's nobody I don't hear ever taking like things that are like, oh, well, this person said this and I don't really get that, you know, yeah. so I feel like we've been doing we do good at it. You know, I feel like it's important to kind of keep up on that, you know, and just keep checking in and make sure everybody's good. You know, kind of like Rob said, you know, you got to be on the same page because you want everybody to get your back and it's easier to make decisions when everybody's on good terms and you know, everybody feels heard, you know, so. Yeah. Josh, yeah. anything to add to that? Anybody seen Dustin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Buddy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, for me, for no, me, I, I, I agree pretty much with each person's view on it. When I first started hanging with you guys, even after the first couple jams, we, regardless of music, didn't even like, it wasn't politics, but we talked a little more about what we were looking for in the band. And I liked the fact that right off the bat with you guys, it was going to be, it's not my way, it's our way. We're all involved in this. It's not just going to be my song because my previous band that I parted ways with, it turned into, it was one person's way and that's how we were gonna do it. And- Quick question though, was that the band you were in with Mark? No. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, 
I want to make sure we're not stepping in like, hey, this is the same shit I was just doing last time. And I told him I'm not going to do it your way. No, <laughs> the, only, the, the only thing that actually would be the same is I joined a project he was already in and already had an established name. So I didn't have to deal with coming up a band name. <laughs> so I just, I'm just joining this project. That's it. I wasn't involved in it. Why did we pick this name? What does the name mean? Are we dead set on the name? Like, that wasn't my involvement with stuff. So that was the one thing I did enjoy about coming into this project was I wasn't going to have that weird conversation of what were we going to name the band? Because there have been some conversations with other people where like how you said they were dead set on a name and then that name just didn't go well or you couldn't promote the name. And then, well, why do we have to have this name? Where it's more of what's with this band, it's, there's a meaning behind the name. So to me, so that's cool. Not just, oh, that sounds cool. Let's go with that. I mean, that's how it started, but you know. <laughs> but I yeah. think that's I think that's the way it is with any with any name of any project. Like, you, it's got to catch your attention first of all. You know, uh, you, you can't just call your band up. Uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we get complimented a lot on the name of the band as well. A lot of people, uh, it's really cool when like people will be like, "Oh, you're in a band. What's the band name?" It'll be like the Last Days of War. They're like, "Oh, I really like that." Or like, they'll 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 say like, "That sounds like an already established band," which which is cool to hear. Like they're like, "Oh, I could hear that name with, you know, playing with Slipknot or whoever it is." You know, like I, I love that. That's the reaction that people usually get when they hear the name of the band. So that's cool. <clears throat> Well, like I, I took a class years ago and they were like, oh, you know, certain band names within the industry, like you say a word, it's a trigger word. Most people will shoot it down and instantly disagree with your band based off the name of the band. Like if you yeah. add hate in your name, like people are instantly going to hate you. And I'm like, well, look at hate breed. I'm like, no. <laughs> And so uh, when I was considering the last days of war, a lot of people were like, oh, I don't know if you should include the word war. And I'm like, yeah, you should tell that to the band war. <laughs> I, I don't point. know if they've had a successful <laughs> That's a very good career, point, dude. they're still fucking going. And war like, fucking slaps, by the way, dude. Four or yeah, five decades go. later? Like, come on yeah. now. Next one, Rob. <clears throat> Next one. Why are we waiting on me? All right. Let's see here. All right. Pre-game pre pancakes from Instagram says, Actually, I can't wait to see you guys live. Just wondering, do you have any pre-show rituals? Pre-show pre pre rituals. pre-game on pancakes before the show. Yeah, eat a stack of pancakes before the show. <laughs> uh, We're going to turn this show into like a Gallagher show and just spray the audience. <laughs> Especially now at my age, the importance of the pre-show stretch uh, <laughs> is very vital. <laughs> so, like, like, if we were to dedicate, like, hey, we're going to bring a yoga instructor with us on tour so we can do a yoga class, like, 30 minutes before, I would be all for it. Like, let's go. <laughs> like, let's, let's get some stretching in. Um, I usually, I'm usually outside stretching, you know, jumping up and down a little bit, get the blood flowing. I'll start warming up my vocals. That's usually what I start doing, like, the last, like, two, three songs of the band before us. Because I try to catch as much of every other band playing. And uh, when you're playing a show, the hardest band to see is the one right before you. Because you're always getting ready for uh, to be set up so that you can get on and off that stage as quick as possible. So you try to do your best and catch as much of their set as possible while also preparing yourself for what you got to do. Josh? I might disagree with the statement of the band before because being the fucking drummer, I have the most amount of shit to put away that the damn night's over and I'm still putting my crap away. So I would agree with the band before. You miss, I, I never see the band after You miss us. the headliner. I miss the whole goddamn thing because I'm making sure my shit's put away. But um, pre-game wise... You played a full set before us. That was that, pretty good. They'll say pretty much doing back to back sets, I guess, would have to be a, an hour warm up before. Yeah. But um, not yeah. being a drinker or anything anymore, uh, 
I kind of just keep to myself before we play, like how Mark said, kind of make sure my stuff's ready. My big panic is making sure that I can hear the tracks in my ear before we get up on stage. Because once we get up there, the lights start, and then Danny and I can have eye contact, but that's pretty much it. So I'm making sure before we even get up there that everything's good to go on my end. And once I'm good to go, then I kind of just let whatever happens going to happen. I'm just curious. Are your wives in the room? Is that why you're saying you only have eye contact and that's it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm glad you caught that. He's like, it's only eye contact, but man, it's, it's that eye contact. eye contact, right? I swear, it was only eye contact. He didn't touch me until oh, we got man. to the van later. No. What about you, Danny? Uh, for me, it's it's usually trying to not throw up. You know, um, I don't I don't have a lot of like fear or anything like that. I just have a lot of like um, anxiety. You know, wanting to get up there, anticipation. You know what I'm saying? I want to go. I want to go, and I feel like all of that, and then plus having to go like, okay, my guitar, and then there's fucking other gear and laptop and in-ears and like we talked earlier about control with like rob we'd be it's rob's got to have click i mean i have to there's that song coming in on guitar is not easy as well so um without without click that we it's a train wreck so like i said there's a lot to do there's a lot to think about you know um i feel like once we get kind of up there and set and ready and we start playing the first song that kind of just dies out for me. And then after that, it's just fun, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, it's one hitting the bar before we get on stage, uh, making sure I have water or everyone has waters and that I have a libation to loosen the mood a little bit. Um, but if you're really, catch me like right before we go on uh, I'm usually running around like a chicken with my head cut off so right before we're about to go on play I like to get a little elevated so we can get in this head space like, uh, like we've been practicing this whole time <laughs> <laughs> practice I, I think play. you know it's just the whole hey this is what I've been warming up for you know you don't go to practice and you don't you don't do all your stretches and exercise to just go out there and do it every day no like this is what you prepared for like let's get in that mood you know yeah all right we're there you know cool oh, so yeah. uh that, that's just me and and a lot of people ask me how do you scream high and you just go ah! yeah. very well <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> all right uh no other okay, what do we got uh, do we do one well we can keep going i just want to say mark uh it, as far as stretching before a show uh that's not me uh you know a lion never stretches before it takes down a gazelle right so oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go out there and rough it and give it your best and if you get hurt that's what you paid for you know what i'm saying yeah. you get a good show every time yeah I, I mostly do it for my lower back because I've had surgery on my back. Oh, wow. So I have to. Yeah. Don't well, want to pull that. anything. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, next question, Rob. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This one comes from uh, X. Tyler Burden, 89, says, love the music. Enjoy the war cast. Thank you. Uh, we all know that Rob has Johnny Chico, but do any of the other guys have alter egos? <laughs> oh my gosh. Any alter egos? Um, Not any no, that man. I can talk about publicly. <laughs> I, the, I, I think I think Danny's is... Uh, I used to call Danny a nickname years yeah. ago, but he still saved it in my phone as it... Uh, <laughs> Um, but he's Doogie Fugel. <laughs> Doogie Fugel. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so it was just like, oh, he's in Doogie mode. Oh. You just see Doogie. Hey, Doogie. <laughs> Coming down. What's going like, on? Oh, Do Doogie be fucked up. And you just like, oh, stay out of his way. Because he just like, hey, man, move. 
we just shove you against the wall. And you're like, whoa, well, okay. Well, there, there's like there's like the the Doogie Fugle mode where it's just that kind of goofy drunk, you know, like uh, you know, taking going slip and slides down hills and you know shit like that, you know. Yeah. And you know, you say uh, uh, you talk about him pushing people into walls. I like. I personally enjoy the stories of Danny putting people through walls because it's always pretty. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I had my uh, couple years where I, I did it. I was a bouncer and all that, you know. So it's uh, that that job for a guy, you know, my size. It just it was very easy to do, you know. So yeah, you got to put in that time, right? <laughs> you got to you got to put in that work, you know. It takes effort, you know. It's when you like when you have to any job with a body like that, yeah, <laughs> you can't. You you know, it takes work, you know. Uh, I gotta file some paperwork being this size. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what about you, Josh? For alter egos or names, uh, my wife calls me Daddy. <laughs> yeah, we we heard you guys had a weekend without the kids. That's great. Josh That's, wins, dude. Josh I don't wins. think we need more details yeah. than that. Yeah, and what's he's like that part? Was last weekend. Yeah, and what was I doing on Friday? I was at Danny's house. <laughs> so. Weekend with no kids, and I'm sorry. I'm at Danny's house, so I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> he also ensured there were no kids. So he's like, he's like, <laughs> yeah, and the sad part is I show up, and then his kids are wondering, hey, where's your kids? Why are you coming over here without your kids? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I don't know, man. I'll, I'll alter ego-wise. I, I, I'm literally drawing a blank. I just... Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's that's my that's my answer. I don't. Yeah. Hmm. I uh. I don't know, man. There was a time. I mean, I already think about it. It's not. So, I wouldn't so much call it like an alter ego, but for a, a while, I was. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix the camera here. Uh. You too, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I'm all fucking like this, fucking Aww. all crazy and shit. Oh man, yeah. No. Uh, in the very beginning, but the very beginning of me doing band stuff, I was terrified to be on stage. So I wore really dark glasses and a, a fucking bandana, scarf around my head, whatever the fuck. If you want to call that an alter ego, that was probably the worst one. So, <laughs> what you? What was it called? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I, don't, I wouldn't give it a name. I wouldn't necessarily give it a name. We but don't I, want to it was name definitely this like, uh, I just didn't know how to be myself on stage yet. And I felt like I was trying to just like, this is what a front man's supposed to do or whatever it was. Like, I didn't have my own, I, I wasn't comfortable in my own skin yet on stage. So, yeah. No, I yeah. agree on that. Mm. Um, what do you think? One more? Yeah, let's go with one more. Let's go with one more. Going? Hey, what if do you, you what do you think the chances? This, you can turn it off, right? <laughs> What's that? What are you gonna say, Danny? No, never right. Go ahead. What were you saying? Nothing. Go ahead. Well, because I heard what I said. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> He's doing it again. Doing it again. Um, this this one's an interesting one. Um, I don't I don't know if this is official because of a check mark or not. Uh, this comes from Trapped Band. Oh, uh, shit. Thick sound, you guys. Uh, who would each member like to collaborate with on a song? Trapped. <laughs> hmm. um, That's interesting when you say that. So do you mean like as far as like a single person or like a, an, an entire band? Uh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm assuming maybe a live. Let's stick with a live, not, not doing the... Hey, if I could bring him back, because that's not really a possibility, you know? All right. Well, you know what, Rob? You, you, you go first on this one. Ooh. Someone I would like to collaborate with. Um, for me, it would be an honor to do anything with Trent Reznor. Uh, musically, or whether he's on the track or produces it, or even just listens to it and gives me a nod and says, fuck you. Uh, I'll appreciate that. You know, um, 
play. I've I've admired Trent Reznor, his career, his sound, the way he's done everything, even to this day, uh, the way he conducts himself professionally, um, even through you know his troubled phase. I still think he handled it smooth, and I, I think that guy's on point one hundred percent. Hell yeah, Josh. I'm going to go with Will Putney over from New York uh, just because of, like I mentioned, drum tones. The guy is an awesome guitar player that I think it would be cool to just go work with him, give me something guitar-wise he's got, and then just come up with something drum-wise and have him honestly tell me, no, that's shit, now here's what I have. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I would have to I would have to go uh, first off I would say I love Rob's answer because that oh. would be a that would be such a you know high up there on the scale of like this would be a dream come true type mm-hmm. situation but then I also like I was me and Rob have talked about this I have I have a few you know like it would be cool to collab with like Hans Zimmer that would be something that would be I would love to work with him and like do a whole, even just like an instrumental fucking album would be awesome. That's, that would be, yeah. No Mark and I, huh? No, just, <laughs> just, cool. the, just the ha just the Hans, you know? Yeah. All right. No, but I mean, even for the band, I would say that would be awesome too. The whole package, you know? So I would uh-huh. say uh, the uh-huh. whole, whole band, band working, having Hans Zimmer come in with us. That's what I would like. I think yeah. we would do some pretty crazy shit together. Yeah, so my mine would uh, be also with us, you know, collectively as a band, but that person doing a song with us. And it's just going to be a real, like, left-field answer. But I have always wondered what it would be like to work with Lady Gaga. I, I think she's... I think she's phenomenal. I just think that what she does, she thinks she's super talented. And I think it would be dope to hear like what she would bring to like the sound of our music, like as a collaboration with her, she was just in a chorus or a verse or something like that. Um, we could get her just on to some, hear some low her thoughts, screams. her That'd thoughts cool. on like the production of what it is that we're doing, you know, because she, she's, like I said, I just I've always held Lady Gaga up in a very high tier. I think she's awesome. That's all. Yeah. All Thanks. right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get one more because that one's gonna leave a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> hey man, you asked who I wanted to work with, bro. I know, I know, answer. and I regret every minute of it. <laughs> um uh, here we go. This one is from Tony Dancer uh, on Instagram. Today we're making the last days of war pizza. Each member gets one topping. What's each member's topping? And then afterwards we'll discuss if we would actually eat said pizza. Mark, you want to start? Well, I mean, I'm I'm more of a classic pepperoni guy, so I'm going to start with pepperoni on on, on this pizza. There's one for pepperoni. You want some of this? I'll pick it off, man. I'm good. I'm fine. Like, I don't mind. I, I don't care. I, the only thing I don't like is olives. Same here. Olives are disgusting. Fuck yes. This is great already. <laughs> so what do we got now? We got pepperoni and what? Pepperoni. And pepperoni. That's it. That's all we got. Pepperoni. So we got double pepperoni. You're doing no. pepperoni as well, Danny? No. What? No, no, no. What did Josh pick? I got cheese. Josh said- I'm just cheese. Pick it up. Uh, whatever you pick, but if I was going to put something on a, to make it fun, banana wax peppers. Ooh. Okay. So pepperoni, that, and then, uh, Rob, what do you, what would you throw on this? Hmm? Fuck. Well, these two just ruined my idea. I was going to say olives. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's all right. I don't want you to totally pick off the pizza. Hey, you guys want some bread and sauce? It's happened before, just, dude. It's honestly happened. So I still no, ate it. Uh, I just ate breadsticks. What you got, Rob? Um, 
Uh, let's see. If we're going um, for me, maybe jalapeno. Oh, okay. Putting okay. some a little bit of spice. I I do like the banana peppers. Don't get me wrong; those are great. But I think just a little bit of kick. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong. No, I'm with you on that. That eliminates the chili pepper flakes afterward. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. It <didn't> just, oh. <laughs> All right, Danny. What we what we ending this these toppings with? Fucking pineapple. Oh, you motherfucker! Know, fuck I fucking fuck you, you all. dude. I fuck you, you all. I was pineapple, waiting for the pineapple. Fucking pineapple. Fuck. Pine pineapple, cause fuck you all. That's it, right there. That's all I gotta say. And I'm not gonna change it. Well, with that being said, I will not be taking a bite of this piece of pizza. <laughs> really? You, dude, you I can't no stand the. I can't stand warm pineapple. It's disgusting, dude. It's the worst. Oh, you are not going to enjoy Hawaii at all. I, I will tell you right now, don't even go. Don't even go to Hawaii. If, if we just book a tour and we book Hawaii, you should just stay home because you're not going to like it at all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's horrible. It's warm pineapple on everything. What about you, Rob? You taking a bite of this? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you could add more fucking toppings. Put dirt from the ground on it. I'll still take a fucking white guy. <laughs> I'll eat that pizza. <laughs> you, you know, just it's pizza. Like, I I think it's it's more about uh, making sure that the ingredients are fresh. But other than that, I'll, I'll fucking you put it all on there. I'll take a whack at it. <laughs> all right, Josh. Um, if I can pick off the pepperoni, I'll eat it. We'll allow it. Yes. I can't digest <laughs> it, but I'll eat it because that pineapple is gonna get me. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, you slamming this monstrosity of a pineapple pizza? Oh, with a fucking smile on my face the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You guys, you guys got any last uh, last things to say about anything that we've talked about today? Oh, uh, thank you for the I mean, questions. We can, we, we can finish them out. Oh, we got. How many we got? We got? We'll make it quick. Got? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I thought we were. I thought we were ending it. Let's go. I'm, Let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, Karen the World on Instagram says, if you weren't playing your current instrument, what other instrument or instruments would you be playing? Um, violin. A violin. Interesting. Violin. Continue. Are, are, you, are you good at the violin? Sure. What do you want me to do? <laughs> well, I was wondering if, if, there's something, if there's something if there's something you need, I'll make it happen. I'll, I'll get good at it. So is the, was the question in like reference to something else that you would be playing that you know how to play, or just uh, in general? I'm assuming it's just like that you probably already know another instrument, and so like mm -hmm. it's like, hey, well please. then my answer would be my answer would be piano. Piano, good one, yeah. But if it was a uh, new instrument I wanted to learn to bring in, it would be violin. I like that. We'll, we'll do a two-part answer like that. That's, I like that. Uh, uh, so for me, if it was something that I can play, it would be an acoustic guitar. I don't, I've, I've still yet to play anything like on an electric guitar, but from what I know and what I can do, it's all an acoustic, so it would be acoustic guitar. And as far as a, uh, an instrument that I would go to that I would love to learn... It would be a uh, piano. I would love to learn how to play piano. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Joshua? Uh, Instrument-wise that I would be playing would probably be guitar then because I can play guitar somewhat. Um, to learn? Bagpipes. Just because those are loud as shit. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So it would be bagpipes. I married somebody who can play piano, so I'm good. I don't need to learn that. What you got, Rob? Uh, you got? For me, uh, if I wasn't screaming, I'd probably be doing bass. Um, but if there was an instrument I could learn and do it, uh, probably be turntables. Oh, okay. Yeah, doing samples and turntables and keeping that beat going. 
Dude, I cannot picture you holding a bass guitar, dude. That's like just oh, bro, of how tall you are, dude. I got him here. I got him here. Like, and then it's just like, oh, do you want to throw this on the album? Well, no, I couldn't play bass and scream at the same time and go fucking nuts on stage, like. Yeah. So we'll we'll hold that for another person. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, it's just. It's just kind of how I feel. Like, just let's fuck it up, keep a beat going, you know? Because I think we just lost our drummer, right? He's not playing bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, last one. Uh, this one comes from Grand Thrift Auto. I like that. Uh, that sounds very dirty. Um, <laughs> your music sounds like it belongs in a video game. What game or type of game could you see yourselves doing the music for? Uh, now, I know most of us are gamers, uh, so I'm going to throw this one to Josh first, who is uh, not really the biggest gamer, I, I'd say, right? That's true, and if we were going off of a style of game or a game in particular? Um, either or. I... Like you, you could say if you want it to be a series, like a specific game, or you can even say, hey, this is the type of game I would see it as, you know? I would go off of the graphics and storyline of Red Dead Redemption 2. Would you say Minesweeper? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I would either go something along the lines of Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption, or Gears of War, like a first-person action type of game, but still be able to have multiple players. So, like, you'd have the band members involved and have a story behind each person. So, something like that. Hell yeah! That's what I was I about to say was Gears of War. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm legit. I was gonna say, I was gonna say uh, Gears of War or like Doom. Like the the remakes of like Doom, the newest yeah. Doom games that have been coming out, the soundtrack on those games in general kick ass. But like, I think that our music would fit perfectly in that style of a game, something like that, or something kind of sci fi ish, kind of like cyberpunk would be kind of dope as well. Like I, I, solitaire, I can see a, like solitaire. <laughs> yeah, Uno maybe. I don't know. Card yeah, games. man. No. Yeah. Um, for me, I. I, I was kind of talking to Danny about this, and for me, this game doesn't exist quite exactly. But what I would do is I would take Red Dead Redemption type look and feel atmosphere, but with a post-apocalyptic future Grand Theft Auto. Oh, so so not like the robots and heavy machinery, but more of like the. Uh, dystopian broken down buildings and having to explore western look of the uh the game that's dope yeah man what about you danny uh like i said i was gonna i was gonna go with gears of war um i always thought it would be cool i know this isn't kind of along the same line but like having a song i think in like tony hawk's pro skater would be pretty cool too you know oh. you do you know, that. i know it doesn't it doesn't fit right? in exactly like that but just having your song on that would be massive you know yeah and uh technically when i play tony hawk on my playstation 5 we are on that game because i lower the music on there <laughs> and i because you can you can you can stream your spotify as you're playing on the playstation so it comes out with the game as as you're playing so yeah, I, I have too. my own tony hawk i have my own tony hawk uh like playlist and then that's what i play the game to hmm. nice who's yeah. on this playlist oh shit <laughs> um it's a lot of a, a lot of uh i try to keep it kind of uh i don't yeah. know like punk like punky type stuff um more along the lines of i don't know like blink 182 and stuff like that and like you know green day a little bit of um i think Amanda asked me to put Black Flag on there. And Let me ask you songs. this. Do you have a boy band in, in your playlist? <laughs> um, I believe it's going to be me made the made the list. Yes. I believe there is at least 
there's, there's, bro, come on, man. Come that on. Is like, he was grinding some <laughs> rails listening to that. Listening in sync. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. And the, and the song that I have of ours in that playlist is Breaking the Mold. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Only one. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to put like every single one of our songs in there. I was trying to keep it all. I know <laughs> I did just say fucking it's going to be me, but like I tried to keep it all, you know, around the same sounding stuff with the exception of in sync there. <laughs> so, well, yeah. that's it, folks. We're done. We're never doing this again. Uh, thanks for <laughs> Uh, I'm sure yeah. Mark has something to do next week. We're not sure yet, but we'll make something <laughs> for him. Uh, if you can, please hit the like, subscribe, and follow buttons below. We appreciate every single one of you. Keep the questions coming. Yes. Um, and please, 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 4th of July is coming up before our next episode. Take care of your fingers, people. Okay? <laughs> Be safe out there. <laughs> so don't... don't uh, there's always the saying of like somebody in the United States isn't aware that this is their last weekend with all, all 10 fingers. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> with all the fireworks out there. <clears throat> oh, got it. Okay. I, that was my mind went somewhere else. We're good. Of course it did. <laughs> of course. Why, why, why wouldn't it go somewhere else, buddy? <laughs> Take care of your fingers. It was like, uh, yeah, like wash your hands. But that yeah. being said, this has been the last day of the war catch you guys thank you so much for our support make sure you give us a like and uh share leave a comment it helps the algorithms check out all of our stuff in our bio thank you very much catch you later. next one for the nation <laughs>